charm of the street is to uh, it's like a it's like a playground for the graffiti and the street artists. The, the, the place that we get playing, you know, like uh, we, can, we can paint, of course, illegally, sometimes legally, but you, you, most of the time is illegal. So it's like playing with the society, you know, like uh, we put our painting in the street and uh, people they like it or they don't like it. Actually, we don't care. We just make it like uh, we, we try to make some uh, movement in the street, you know, so it's like uh, actually for, for, for artists, any kind of artist is positive, you know. If you don't understand art, of course, you like, uh, you, you don't like it anyway. You just say, why these guys, they paint in the street, why they don't ask, why we have to ask, you know, when you see like an advertising like Coca-Cola or Starbucks or uh, all, all this shit, they put advertising everywhere, they didn't ask us, you know, but just do it because for, for the money. So why we cannot do it for free? We don't ask for money, we just paint. Okay, we just, I mean, from my, from, from my point of view, we just have to be careful sometimes with the kids, you know? If we do like very sexual uh, stuff or very aggressive, it can hurt kids, so. Actually, me, I don't care, you know, I like, it's positive. travel like everybody you know for me is like uh, the best way to uh, meet people different cultures to get some inspirations and uh, yeah sometimes I adapt my uh, my painting the, the colors sometimes I'm be careful sometimes when I'm going to uh, like uh, North Africa you know there are Muslim countries so you, you have to be careful don't not, don't draw like uh, a sexy woman or something like that, they can be shocked, you know. And uh, in China, I cannot paint like a Mao, you know. All this uh, Chinese Chinese culture, you have to be careful. So of course, I, ad I adjust my painting, but usually most of the time, in Europe and everything, I can paint what I want, you know. Yeah, I paint Mao on my canvases, but I cannot show it, you know. I cannot show it during the exhibitions. So I show it in Europe. You know, because I get a lot of inspiration in China, you know. I know how to paint with this brush and everything. I learned how to paint in brush in China. So yes, of course, but I like to travel. This is the best way for me to get, to, to learn and to be open mind, you know. So now we have the internet. We have many books, DVDs, you know, a lot of documentary about graffiti. So I think in Asia, we get inspirations from New York, from Europe, you know. But I, I, I met some guys in Asia, they, they keep the, the, the Asian style, so it's good. So they mix the graffiti, the New York style with the Asian style. So I, I think the, be the best way to, to, to them in Asia to keep their own styles, to, to show a different graffiti, you know. Like in, uh, like in Morocco or in Algeria, they sometimes they keep uh, Ara Arabic, le Arabic letters, you know? So, yeah, but graffiti, you know, is like uh, uh, international, you know? Yeah, universal language. So, the, so it depends on the, your feeling, you know? Me, I, I start with the New York style and step by step, I keep my own style. I try to, you know, to make it different. But it's taking time, you know, it's not, you not get your style in the, in, the, in, the, in the first time, you know. You need time, you need to learn, you need to grow up with your painting.